In this video, we're going to cover the weigh-in mode and the different configuration choices you have for a Sartorius Practum, Quintets, or Secura Laboratory Balance. Um, I'll be using a Secura 225D in this demonstration and wear precision weigh-in balances and authorized distributor of Sartorius balances. Presently, the balance is in standby mode and we're going to press the button in the lower left-hand corner. When doing so, you can see the balance powers up and then we get the display screen. The laboratory balance returns to the last configuration. So the last <clears throat> weighing configuration is this icon here in the lower left-hand corner. That's the weigh icon. So to get into changing one of the weighing applications, we're going to select the menu key in the very lower left-hand corner. And these are all the weigh-in applications. So you can select everything. This is a nice touch screen. You can just scroll up and down and you can see all the different um, weigh-in applications. Density, percent weigh-in, statistics, components, mitzen. And so we're going to select weigh-in. And you'll notice at the top of the display, we have a zero and we have a T. So the zero button or the zero icon here, this is to um, return the balance back to the zero point. So the zero function works plus or minus 2% of the weigh-in range. Now we're going to place a container on the platform. We're going to use a aluminum weigh dish. And you'll notice this is a five decimal place balance, so it takes a little bit of time to stabilize. The display is a light gray, and then it turns to a bold black, and that's when we're having. That's when we receive a stable reading. Once we have a stable reading, we're going to uh, press the tear button to tear out the container. So we're going to tear it. And so tear subtracts the weight of the aluminum disposable dish. And then we can go and place a sample. So this is just table salt, actually, that we're pouring on the balance. And you can see the balance respond to the weight. We can close the door. And now since we teared out the container, we'll have the weight of the salt that was added to the container. And again, once we get a bold font, that's telling us that we have a stable reading. And we can actually tear out again. So we can tear out this sample. And if we wanted to add more, say if there was a different component that we wanted to add, we could just add on the second component, pouring it onto or inside of the new weight container. Once again, always closing the doors. And once we get a bold font, we have a stable reading. Now, I want to show you some more features that you can do with this balance. Again, this is a five decimal place balance. This is the most sensitive balance in the Sartorius uh, Secure Quintet series. So we can actually go into the menu and drop the last decimal place. So right now you'll notice we have five decimal, we have five digits after the decimal place. So we can go into the menu by just once again, Select and weigh in. And once that's selected, um, I'm sorry, what you want to do is you want to select, in order to change it, the G here, the weigh units, we can press on to that. And you'll notice we can change any of the weigh units. So we're in grams right now. We can change to ounces. We can change to carats, troy ounces, penny weight milligrams, pounds, so you have a large selection of weigh units. But this is what I wanted to show you. On the right hand side of the display, we can change the amount of digits shown. 
so we can shut off the last digit. And by checking the box, you'll notice now we have a four decimal place balance. And you'll notice if we add a sample to the weighing platform, you can see we get a stable reading a lot faster. And we can actually go in and we can drop two decimal places, so reduce by two digits. And so now we have a three decimal place balance. And now we can pull more sample on. And you'll notice we don't even really need to close the draft shield here at a milligram. And so all of the Satorius Quintets, Secure and Practum have the ability to drop or reduce the amount of digits. So here we have, we can reduce the last digit, reduce by two, or even reduce by three. So now, again, this is a five decimal place balance, but now we've just changed it to a two decimal place balance. Now, another thing I wanted to show you, we can, we can tear the balance to the full capacity of the balance. And as we add more sample to our disposable aluminum pan. We can see here at the very bottom of the display, underneath the number, the weight, this is a, basically a weigh meter showing you how much of the capacity of the balance you've used. So if I put my hand on the platform, you will see this meter increase. Now this helps you so that you have a visual idea of how much of the weighing capacity of the balance you've used so that you do not overload the balance. Um, again, if you want to just change a weigh unit, all you simply have to do is press the unit that's presently being used. Okay, you can tear that. Press it. And we can change again to carrots if we wanted to. And each one of these weigh units, you'll notice, if we're in carrots, it shows all digits. So we can have it so in carrots, we shut off the last digit. And in ounces, we can shut off two digits. And in grams, we can shut off, we'll just say one digit. And again, we just check this, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll go to ounces, and so we'll show last digit off, check the box, and there you have it. So the point is, the balance is extremely configurable for almost any application you have. Changing the weigh units is extremely simple. Using this touchscreen interface, one practically does not even need to use the user manual. Um, Thank you for watching this video. If you'd like to purchase any of the Satorius products, including the Practum Quintets or Secura Laboratory Balances, please visit us at either balances.com or scaleman.com. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel, and YouTube will notify you when we have new videos.